Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage. It's time to get back to work on the Skoda. It's been a while since I did any work to it because of the spontaneous Panda 4x4 purchase that I did. So that took some of my time away. Uh, the Panda is still not working right, but it's outside again because I needed to work on something else. And I'm actually waiting on a new ECU for that car, which is on its way from Italy, but I can't do much before it arrives. I really hope that's the issue. Anyway, it's all about the Skoda now. I have already fixed one issue that I had with the Skoda from the previous, uh, from one of the previous videos. It's this thingy. This is the auto adjuster thing on the, uh, on the Skoda rear brakes. This one was spent. I didn't notice, but a lot of you actually noticed and uh, commented that it would m most likely cause some issues. So I bought a new one and I have changed that. And now that should be all ready to go. Then in the previous video also the uh, filler neck from the, from the fuel tank going to the filler neck itself actually perished from fuel. It was fine when I added fuel the first time. A couple of weeks later it was completely gone. It was completely perished. Not, not completely but I think you get the point. That needs to be changed now because at the moment the car is just smelling horrible. That's the reason it was standing outside because without a connection on, on the fuel tank, the, uh, the evaporation will just go everywhere and it smells of petrol everywhere. So that is going to be fixed today and I already started work, work on that. And then maybe we can do some other stuff today. This car is actually pretty close to being at least MOT ready, in my opinion. So. Um, yeah, hopefully I can drive it soon and that would be nice because at the moment I actually am having a bit of an issue even though I have a lot of cars. I have actually sold one, more on that in another video, and uh, the Cinquecento is broken. Yeah, but let's get to work to get this Skoda working and running. And I have started the work on the fuel tank issue by actually removing a 10 millimeters up here and a 10 millimeters down there on the filler tube itself. And I have also removed the engine tray right there. Only share two bolts. I'm proud about that. Um, so now I'm having a bit more access down here and I have actually already pulled the filler neck back far enough to actually take the, uh, the old rubber off, which is this, which is this, and it's just going apart in my hands. So uh, yeah, it was, I think that, I think the name is dry rotted really. I have removed this uh, cover plate down here that uh, covers up the, uh, the hoses and the coolant lines and the transmission and uh, Everything is looking pretty good actually. Some of the rubbers are pretty hard and should maybe be changed soon, but I will wait a little with that. I'm having a little issue on the fuel tank right there. There is some seepage going on and that's a shame really, but I think I can uh, fix it by putting on some, some epoxy or something like that on the outside. It's not that bad yet. On the tray itself, a little mouse has had a, had a nest, or at least I think it's a mouse. Uh, there is no there is no dead animal or anything, and lucky for me, it doesn't seem as though it has been eating anything that it shouldn't be eating. So that's good news. But what I'm going to do now is to replace that piece of rubber and uh, get the fuel tank situation back under control. Oh, I just noticed that this gator is actually perished as well. I will most likely need a new one of those. That could be an MOT fail. I'm also having a bit of a coolant leak up there. I just noticed. What's that coming from? Oh, is that the pipe itself?
Well, I'm going to ignore that for the time being, but uh, <laughs> it seems to be having a little issue right there. Could have spilled some, maybe. Oh, it's from there. It's from the uh, connection itself. Okay, that's that's not that bad. Let's see if we can take a closer look at that. Yeah, yeah, it's from the uh, from the connection, which looks pretty bad. It's a shame I noticed this now because I will need to drain the coolant again to fix that. Yeah. Either way, let's fix the uh, tank issue first. So let's see what we can do down here. There is not a lot of room. This would be the best way to put the Jubilee clips to actually access them. Oh, this is a tight fit, of course, but it's a bit annoying. Or fiddly is the word maybe. Oh, I need a bigger Jubilee clip for this one. The other one should be okay. But let's slip the filler neck in. If it goes far enough back. That was tough, but it's done. The uh, rubber is now on. Just need to tighten up the Jubilee clips and then, uh, yeah, job done. And yes, this is a step backwards, but uh, I will have to drain the coolant once again to, to change that Jubilee clip that is leaking uh, fluid. So, uh, but I can just put it back in because it's brand new fluid this time. I should have paid more attention when I did this last, but remember I would like to do as little as possible in a way on this car because one thing is I would like to keep the cost down a little bit, but also because it's fun to revive this car and not just change everything. So it's this sound again. <laughs> I guess most of you are off to the loo now. I will let it drain and then change that Jubilee clip. So right up there is the Jubilee clip that is actually snapped. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, that very rusty thing is no longer adding any tension. And uh, I couldn't see it from the engine bay. So uh, yeah, that needs to be fixed and I need to check the connections in the front as well. Um, I will do this real quick and then put the coolant back into the car. So it's this hose right here that goes to the uh, thermostat housing that I have actually had off. Because I changed the thermostat. Oh, it's amazing. I didn't notice this, but that's... <laughs> yeah. It was not attached anymore, so uh, but it's easy to fix. I'm just going to fit a uh, clips and then tighten it all up and add the fluid back to the system. So I also found a connection between these two uh, outlets that were leaking. It was this kind of hose that was leaking bit, uh, through the, the reinforcement. So I'm going to make a new one for that as well. And yes, it would be clever to change all rubbers and all Jubilee clips and so on, but I'm not that clever. And also, I just like to rebuild as I go along. Only build, only fix what is necessary and then go from there. And yeah, I know it's a... Uh, we could discuss what is actually necessary. <laughs> but this is my way.
Then it's just a matter of refilling the system. And the heater is on, just to make sure that the uh, heater matrix is not making an airlock. And then I'm gonna bleed it like I did last time and also do it an extra time when the car is actually running. And the coolant has now been filled and uh, I have opened the bleed uh, valve. I can't get water out before starting the engine, I believe, because it's higher than the reservoir, so that makes sense. I also changed this hose right here, actually, going to the uh, top of the radiator. This was pretty uh, perished and hard in the rubber. It wasn't really leaking, but it was about to. So this is changed now and uh, should be all good. I will wait to uh, bleed the rest of it till I can actually start the car. But it is very late at night now, so I'm not going to do that right now. So in this video, I didn't really make a lot of progress, but uh, most importantly, I got back to the Skoda and that was nice, actually. Um, next video will hopefully be uh, fitting the rest of the brake lines and hoses. I think it will be a bit of a struggle to get the old one off, but it needs to be done. And then bleeding the brakes. After that, it's just a matter of getting the engine to run right, and it's actually pretty close to, I, th I think. Um, and I have a small leak in my hydraulic uh, master cylinder for the clutch. I could end up having to swap that. But uh, yeah, we, we are getting pretty close to getting this car out on the road again. So uh, it's a small update, but it's better than nothing. And thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.